Hi all, welcome to the session, move at the side. So today we are going to see the challenges, the common challenges we face while connecting Azure Data Bricks to an external Meta Hive store. So in this case, we are taking Azure SQL database. So we will be seeing how we can connect to SQL database from Azure Data Bricks and the common challenges we face. I'm repeating again, it again, we are using Azure SQL. So if you are using MySQL or MariaDB or Hadoop, you might be coming across a different set of problems. So let's start with uh, the infrastructure setup. Uh, so this is again on my personal instance. So please make a note, if you are working on your office infrastructure or your infrastructure, you might have firewalls, you might have uh, other proxies which limit the connectivity between Azure Databricks and your DB. In this case, I don't have any firewall, it's publicly allowed. So uh, no need of making any infrastructure or network setting setup here. The first thing while connecting from Azure Databricks to uh, any any external uh, hype store, let it be uh, Deep SQL or uh, MySQL or MariaDB is to create connection strings for those. There are two ways of doing it. One is you can store it in an external uh, Metastore shell file and use that as an init script while launching the cluster. That's what we are doing here, like the connection string, username and password to connect to your Azure data base or data server, SQL server, the driver, the version. So make sure that I'm using 2.3.9 here as Metastore version. If you're using 0.13, you can skip the next line. If you are using 1.12, you can use Maven. In this case, we are using built-in. So you can configure this as an init file. You can run it, it will be stored in this location and you can use this as an init file there. Otherwise, what you can do is you can go to cluster, you can go to advanced option and you can enter the details here. So as you can see, you can enter the details here. If you have an init script, you can add the init script here so that the, when launching the cluster, it will come across. So once you have added all the Spark configurations and whatever logins or whatever you have, then you can start the cluster. Let's see. So the cluster is started now and we have some errors here as expected. So first error is unable to instantiate the high meta store client and the reason for that is caused by invocation target exception. Yeah, caused by meta exception. So verification is information is not found on the meta store. So that's our first error. Let's see if we have any other errors or warnings in the log files. Yeah, we do have one more warning there. It's schema related error. So data nucleus requires this table to perform its persistent operations. So you have another error here. It's a warning message, but uh, so you have two, two issues to handle here. So, to resolve this, what we do is there are, we can configure the Hive setting to disable the schema verification. So these are the uh, configurations for that. You can go to your cluster, go to your configuration, edit your cluster, add this here. Along with that, we, we had one more error for data nucleus. So for that, you can again use Fix data store as uh, false and auto create tables to be true. So this was this will help us evade both the errors. So once you add that, you just confirm and restart. Ideally, it takes a couple of minutes to restart the cluster based on your memory, the the language you use, and all the all those parameters. So let's wait for a couple of minutes. Yeah, the cluster is back. Let's go to the driver log and see what we have there. So it's just getting restarted. So let's wait for a couple more minutes. So guys, the server is up now. Let's see if we have any errors here. Looks like there is one more error. Yep, the size given to the column param value exceeds the maximum allowed for any data type. It looks like uh, they have passed work error of 800, 8,000 and uh, the real size is this much. So uh, it's the type size issue. And what was the name? 
yeah the column name is param value so parameter value so what we can do is here is we have two options here either fix it uh, and create it from data bricks or log into the azure server and manually create these tables whatever is required for the external uh, meta hypes too so before doing that let's run and see if this works so we need to try uh, the connectivity let's make sure that the connectivity is intact the we are connecting to the right server so we are connecting to the right server or right meta store let's make sure that the, the, the connectivity is intact we are connecting to the right database in the right port and let's try to create one uh, small table in our external meta store and see how it runs so i'm going to run all So it's waiting for run. Yeah, we are connecting to the right server, Azure Databricks dot database dot Windows dot net one four double three. Yeah, it's getting connected. Uh, connection to this particular server is successful. It's trying to. Oh, we are getting an error. The same error. Cannot create the table. It's not empty or whatever delta table. Delta analysis exception let's do uh looks like a different error but could be the same reason let's go back to the driver and see if we have any locks yep. we don't have any other locks here it's the same not empty or not a delta table yep. but let's manually create and see if it works So for that, uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be logging into the Azure Data Bricks, create other tables. So for that, what we have is we have uh, a website and we have navigated into the Git location for Hive Schema 2.3.0 for creating Hive Metascore. So what we can do is we can just search for max columns and create that here so some parameter value had issues so let's go here create new query and select our databricks yeah execute the query select the next one there, there would be a, a different ways or a better way to do it but i found this is the easiest way to create all the uh, tables with param value so that we won't get into that trouble Run it again. Yep. This is the next one. Run it again. Another one. Columns V2. Run it again. the parameters i think uh, so i think we have created all those tables which were required we can manually cross check if all the tables are there here so i hope all the tables are there now what we have to do is we have to go back and try recreating this so let me create test i know It's created so the test table is created and we have successfully established the connection to our azure data break store i'll i'll post the links the configuration and the github link in description thank you